Following on from the last video, this is the code behind the form with the prefix E, and this form utilizes a class module. Here's the this is the class module, and you dimension this variable as a class module, and then we set this newly dimensioned a copy of this class module as to new, new class module. And then we call a function in that class module, function initiate, and we pass in the command button control. All right, we've we've dimensioned we've we, if you saw in the previous video we had this code called with an equal sign, do you remember? Uh, prefix with equals and then we had the button name here. What I do is I'll paste that outside a minute so I can put it back. It was in square brackets. Remember it was a square bracket, uh, it was probably uh, button G1, something like that, in square brackets. And then it doesn't like that, obviously. We put that back in. So it's the button G1, but it can be any of the buttons. And it passes the button in as an object, a command button object. And then it passes the command button object into the class which is defined there into the function of the class initiate and then when we finish we set the we have to just make sure we set the class to nothing and really we need some code here error code to also set the class to nothing if there was a mistake or an error somewhere um, but you can add that later uh, this was that extra function, which I remember I had to move it over so you could see it in the previous video. Um, I'm going to do another video now which just shows us inside the class. Thank you.